Hi everyone, this is 15th June um, 2023. I want to tell you my eight years of success with the floor hives and how I manage my colonies, um, swarming or even rearing new queens. So I've got the two colonies here um, side by side, as you can see, you can see three boxes, but apparently there are four different colonies in here and I'll try to explain in detail. So when I, my strategy is when I actually have the colony on the right is when I have a swarm cells in my colonies. What I do is I take the brood and the house bees and I would place it on the box above with the split board. Uh, the split board I picked up from Bob Binney's um, YouTube videos and you can see how he uses it as well. Um, I rear the new queen on top. The mother queen is at the bottom still producing um, brood um, down there. Once I actually have a newly mated queen and I find I do like the way she lays, I swap the box from the top to the bottom and bottom to top. So I basically what I do is I have a younger queen in the bottom hive and the top hive eventually then I could either uh, requeen or sell the colony because all my queens are one year old um, or what I would like to do with it. Uh, there's lots of options here. Um, I could split it up further to make more queens um, from that colony if I do like the genetics. The colony on the left now, the colony on the left needed a re the queen wasn't performing to my standard that's purely because she's getting old so what i've done with that one i took her with two frames and i put her right to the top so she's got a bit of house bees a few flat flying bees um so she's getting serviced up on top at the bottom what they will now create because it's become a queenless colony but it's very packed queenless colony they will create some lovely queen cells and they still got a bit of the pheromone the queen's pheromone in the hive because she's at the top but it's very like weak so they would sort of create like a a, a, a supersedure queen rather than an emergency queen and this is what i found by doing this i'm able to rear a supersedure queen um, in the colony if I do like the queen, in this case, I will keep her. If not, I'll probably replace with the queen on the right um, from that. So that's how I actually manage my colonies to give me a really productive hive. Now, if I go at the back and show you the colony one on the honey that broke in in a week's and that's what they brought within a week. So if you guys have got any questions, please uh, feel free to ask me the questions and I'll probably try and answer as well as possible. And you can see I've got an entrance here for the top colony here. And I've got an entrance here for the top colony. Um, so those are the split boards and I, I got this idea from Bob Binney um, from his YouTube channel. Thank you guys. Bye.